Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is about 9.45 in the morning. I just finished my little morning routine. Drew and I actually took a walk pretty early this morning before work, and we went and got some coffee. I put some more ice in it to make it last longer. I love Blue Bottle, but like, I don't know. Some people, I guess most people really love that like they have their cold drinks in hot cups, but like to me, just I hate it. Like I want a usual iced coffee cup, but anyways, it's delicious. Mm, truly magnificent. And now I'm gearing up for like a pretty typical work day. I do have these little lashes on again. I just love them. I think they're so much fun. And I definitely was supposed to wash my hair today, but I was like, we're gonna get away with it for one more day. So starting off at 10 a.m. I have a meeting. Oh my God, my eye is twitching. Please ignore it. At 10 a.m. I have a meeting and that'll go until about 11. I think maybe a little earlier than that. And then I'm gonna head out and do my first fitting room video in probably three months maybe so that'll be fun it's like a nice cloudy day but i do think the clouds are going to separate and the sun is going to come out which i'm fine with it is supposed to get pretty hot this weekend like i think like the high 90s so i am definitely not looking forward to that that's actually really sad to think about okay it's gone down to 91 and 92 but either way it's fine i'm just accepting the fact that it is going to be summer for at least another month and a half if not two months so you know, I've accepted my fate. I was up late, not super late, but I was up until like 10, 30 or 11 reading my book that I talked about in the last vlog and I'm really liking it so far. A lot of you have asked me if I'm gonna create like a Goodreads account and you know, share all of the books that I've been reading and like maybe, I don't know, if, I feel like it's just one more thing to keep up with and like I am so bad. I, the fact that I remembered this meeting is a miracle. Um, truly like i'm just not good at keeping up with things so maybe i'm not opposed to it but we'll see what ends up happening but anyways i'm gonna get my computer all set up and do this meeting and then we'll catch up in a bit okay we just finished our filming day I think I left my house like two hours ago, so I really need to um, get going here. I have to drive all the way to the other side of the garage to pay for my parking because I didn't realize it wasn't over here. So we're gonna head home, maybe make some lunch and then see what else we get up to. But successful filming day done. It's only one o'clock and I'm feeling pretty accomplished. I'm feeling good. I have a lot of computer work to do, so let's get home and get that done. Hello, so it is actually the next day. I just went into an editing black hole last night and I've just been really trying lately. Like I've really just been putting in a lot of effort and trying to upload a lot and just like apply myself and work hard. But anyways, I washed my hair this morning, did my little morning walk routine, etc. Edited an entire main channel video, which was actually the video that I filmed yesterday. Got that all scheduled and ready to go. And now I have to leave in about, actually I need to find out. I need to leave in like 10 minutes. Um, basically I am starting like, I do this, I don't know, once a year or something like that, where the entire year I've like neglected everything. I like haven't been to the dentist yet. I haven't, you know, had my annual exam at like the OBGYN, which I haven't had in two years. We'll talk about that in a future vlog. If you were here when I did my last one in 2021, you'll remember how that went. But anyways, um, I'm just trying to make like all of my appointments and catch up on like all of my self-care stuff, like the stuff that's maybe not as fun um and so anyways i am getting my second ever in my life facial today i went to one place um when i filmed a main channel video back in like i don't know january or february of 2020 but i haven't really followed up and i really want to start taking better care of my skin so all i have on right now is like brow gel and then mascara and i just feel like my rosacea is getting worse and my skin is like more textured and clogged than ever at the beginning of last Last year I was like getting laser treatments and doing all kinds of stuff and then we moved and I haven't really found like anywhere new yet so I just want to like yeah stay on top of that I'm getting my brows done on Monday I haven't done that in like maybe six months I think the last time I got my brows done was before we went to Japan 
can so it's just necessary like it's just really necessary and obviously like no one needs to get any of these things done it's just something that i really want to do for myself so that is what we were doing i'm gonna run just a quick wave through my hair lately with like this straighter or shorter hair i've really just been enjoying using my flat iron because it's like so much faster it's so easy so yeah all that to say if you have been like you know putting off an appointment to make or you've been wanting to treat yourself to like a facial maybe this will inspire you to do that because just want to take the best care of myself possible in all ways and i mean for some people that's like reading or doing it like i don't need to make a million disclaimers anyway i don't need to explain why i want to get a facial but there there inevitably will be someone that's like that's not self-care anyway i'm gonna curl this other half of my head and then we are gonna hit the road and this place is like very highly recommended by actually quite a few people that i follow i see them go there and then i also posted like a question box one time and quite a few people that i follow responded with this same place so that is where we're gonna go and i figured i'd bring you along because i feel so weird i'm like i don't belong there like that weird imposter syndrome that we all have but like when i go into new spaces in LA I just feel very out of place so anyway let's go try it out all right we got ourselves dressed this is the very casual outfit of the day I'm wearing some sunglasses to hide the state of my skin got my little Tiffany's knockoff necklace got my spice world shirt of course um, my favorite maxi skirt that I wear like literally every day and then my silver Steve Madden Mary Jane belly flats whatever you call it so you know a little step up from pajamas but kind of feels like pajamas so let's do it Okay, just finished. I don't know if you can tell, but like my skin is glowing. It's hard to tell when there's like that much redness and you know, she did extractions and all that, but that was amazing. If you're in LA, I would definitely recommend Heyday. Not sponsored at all, paid with my own money. They have no idea that I have a YouTube channel, but I got a few product recommendations. I got an enzyme mask to exfoliate once a week. They recommended this one. This is a hyaluronic acid toner that I'm supposed to use every night. This is a moisturizer that I'm gonna start using during the day that also has SPF in it, and then a hyaluronic acid serum. And then she's also gonna recommend a vitamin C to wear during the day and like a more hydrating moisturizer for at night. They were just sold out at the location. So yeah, now we're gonna head home. I am just so relaxed. I feel amazing. I'm a new woman. If you've been thinking about booking a facial, I would definitely recommend it. It was super fun. We're home and I'm in my pajamas, which is the my final form, honestly. <laughs> Your Animal Crossing scare? Yeah, that's my pose. I have to stand back. All right, we um, a couple of vlogs ago, we saw. I think we had seen this on TikTok, but um, Trader Joe's has like a pet nat wine, which is like an organic or not organic, but like a more natural. It stands for Petion Naturel has no like sulfites and things like that. I don't know. Anyway, we don't really care about that. It's just kind of almost like bubbly. Oops. What? I was just reading. The uh oh, <laughs> you were like this. I was reading that. All right, let's try it. Ooh, very fizzy. It doesn't give me that white wine taste like. Yeah, but it's not like the other one that we tried, like the wavy wines. This one is more. More white wine. Yeah, that one is, that one was more like um, fermented. Mm. Yeah, it's more funky. Mm -hmm. It's good though. For eleven ninety nine, not bad. Anyway, we're making some Trader Joe's pesto chicken breast tonight. That's what's on the menu. Let us know if it's good. <laughs> and then we'll let you know. We're waiting. <laughs> we'll let you know later in this vlog if we think it's good. <laughs> we're gonna cook dinner, eat, watch our show, escape to the country, obviously. If you don't watch it on Amazon Prime, what are you doing? It's like House Hunters, but. UK countryside version. So like little cottages, historic buildings, like, oh, it's incredible. And um, we have watched like 20 seasons. But our little shelf that we ordered for this corner of the kitchen came in, so maybe we'll do that after dinner.
She's a beaut. We have the pesto marinated chicken. I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese and balsamic glaze. And then we have some fresh basil from our garden. Got some zucchini and summer squash and some rice. And we're ready for our show. So for those of you that have never watched it before, like I said, it's on Prime Video, or maybe I didn't say, but it's like a house hunting show in the English countryside. Welcome to Moo's nighttime routine. Screams at this one little spot for his treats until he gets his way. And he does get his way, as he should. He's almost 16. It's after dinner now, and we got this shelf in the mail. I think I mentioned it, but we bought just like a little kitchen rack thingy. Not like, it was like $40. Nothing expensive at all whatsoever. Um, just because we need some extra space to put some appliances, and we just need to fill in that gap because it makes me really sad. So it's where Layla's food was and her water and it was her favorite little corner. So we're gonna make it something else joyful. So all right, it's just like one of those wire racks. Okay. Yeah, and this one comes with like a, a nice countertop with a little piece of wood. So we thought that would be nice. And I mean, for $40, like honestly, pretty good deal. I'll link it when we got down below, not affiliate or anything. Just like, in case you wanna check it out for yourself. Let's assemble. I've been waiting for this moment for a year and two months. It's time to move the microwave. Okay, we just blacked out for the last like 20 minutes. And this is kind of tentatively where we're at. So feel free to leave your suggestions, but basically our... Our only option for this particular setup is keeping this ice maker on the counter. And because of the plug and the way that the marble was cut in this apartment, like we have to keep it plugged in on the top because it doesn't fit on the bottom. Like it bends the entire thing and it just doesn't fit. And then there's only one extra plug. So we thought about moving this back over there, but we have to clean it like every week. And it's just so much easier to take off the back hose here and then like dump it out into the sink. It's just like way easier to have it right next to the sink. So I mean, this is gonna be the tentative spot. And then over there we're like, doing some revamping, definitely still the coffee corner. And then we'll figure out what else we wanna put over there, but we just really want a lot of like space. And I honestly think this turned out like pretty cute. This is stuff that obviously we already had and we just sort of moved things that were already like either over here or whatever and like move them to a different spot. And I don't know, I think it's really cute. So there's the tentative styling of this and honestly the biggest thing was getting that freaking microwave off the counter. And yes, I do need to recenter this clock because LOL at me thinking that that was the center. <laughs> it's definitely not, so we'll figure it out. But I'm actually pretty pleased with this, but any suggestions are welcome. It's the next morning, hello, good morning, and we're headed to an estate sale today, and I'm filming a main channel video for it. And as usual, I'm not running late, but I'm just running a little bit behind schedule. So it says it's gonna take 25 minutes for me to get there. That's not bad, honestly. Gotta put on my glasses, safety first. I saw this estate sale a few weeks ago, and I saw like a couple things on the listing that like got me really excited. So I don't know, going to an estate sale is such a like gamble. I'll talk about it more in the main channel video, but you really never know what you're gonna get. Like, you know, if the person is even has clothing in your size or shoes or if their home decor is gonna be your style. But I feel like based on the preview photos, I was like, okay, you know what? This actually looks cute. So we're gonna do it. So anyways, got dressed, got ready. I'll show you my outfit really quick before I leave. I'm gonna have like 17 minutes when I get there. It'll be fine. Can you you even see that? No, you can't. But I have my little old navy tube top on. I love these, they're so comfortable. I have this cute little beaded necklace, my Layla necklace, my silver hoops, got my pink little like blue blocker looking things. These jeans are good American, they're amazing. And then I have the same silver ballet flats as yesterday. Okay, this feels like a great way to spend a Friday morning. I am definitely unbuttoning my jeans when I drive. <laughs> if you know, you know. And um, we will catch up in a bit. All right, made it home from the estate sale, made myself an iced coffee, filmed the haul portion. That video will be out, I think next week, or by the time you're seeing this in like a couple days on my main channel. I did make a little bit of a mess as I do, but I wanted to show you one thing 
that I got from this estate sale that I literally was eyeing like on the preview they show like photos and stuff and I was like I swear to god I want those so bad but I know they're not gonna be in my size like that's typically what happens you know at least for me when I go thrifting I see something I like it's usually in like a medium or a small or a size six or whatever so I saw this pair of Disney jeans in the like product preview photos or whatever for this estate sale and when I got to the actual room I like made a beeline for these jeans because I was like I have to see what size they are they were in my size and here's what they look like. They're so cute. They even honestly look cute with the shirt I had on today. I'm not gonna keep them on very long because I really like to sanitize my stuff, like especially all my secondhand things before I wear them, but are you joking? These are so cute. I'm literally obsessed with them. This is why I freaking love thrifting or going to estate sales. I feel like you can just find such unique stuff and like this is so fun. Now, am I able to sit down in these? Uh, no. Not currently. I do not want to split them, so I may need to like break them in a little bit, wear them around the house before I wear them out, but look at how perfect these are. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Anyways, that's my favorite find of the day. I also found like a ton of vintage stuff, and yeah, I'm super glad I went. I was supposed to be going with Alexa this morning, but sadly she wasn't able to make it. Something came up, so I just was like, oh, should I not go? Like, ah, I'll just scrap it, I'll just go another time. And it was too late to like invite someone else. And so I was like thinking about it this morning when I woke up and I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna go, like I'm just gonna go by myself. And I had such a blast, like so, so much fun. Oh my God, I do kind of need to like tell a story, like give some tea because this was actually kind of funny. Hold on. I need to find my little tripod so I can sit down. Okay, much better. I'm back in my sweats. Um, I used to tell story time videos on my main channel back in the day, if you didn't know. And um, this isn't like worthy of an entire story time, but I thought it would be like funny to include because it was just, I was like, damn girl. And just keep in mind, this is just like for funsies. I'm not trying to like drag this woman or anything. But um, so we got to the estate sale. I got there at like 9.15 or something like that. Like filmed my intro, did my thing, walked up to the estate sale at like 9.20, 9.22, something like that. And there were probably like 10, people there waiting and the way that this estate sale worked was they gave you like a pre sign up link um like a week beforehand so last week i added my name to like the virtual wait list um and i think i was like 10th in line or something like that and i think they allowed maybe like 20 people to sign up on that and then otherwise that was closed it was full and you could just show up that day and like write your name on the walk-up list and then after those 20 people went in and like did their thing for a little while then they start like letting people in from the list anyway i get there and pretty much right when i walk up this woman walks up she immediately just like comes barreling down the driveway and is like asking these questions like I, I thought maybe she worked there because she was just very like you know karen energy let's be honest and she was like um so who's in the walk-up list and who's not and and we were all just kind of like standing there because they hadn't even opened yet we were like 10 minutes early and like no one was really saying anything and this one woman I think was like oh I think it's just everyone like you know whatever and she just kind of kept being like um show of hands who's on the pre-list the pre-sign up list and it was just like very intense energy whatever so you know I like raised my hand and she was like so um we're all gonna line up in order of when they're gonna you know let us in and blah 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 and I was like okay and I and then I think she said I don't remember what the question was but she said something like have they started telling everyone to line up yet or something like that and I was like uh, no no that it hasn't started so no one's like been out here yet and she goes that's not what I asked <laughs> I was like, okay I was just like on my phone like all right she starts like taking control and like organizing right so she's like we're all gonna line up like this is what we're gonna do blah 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 and it was just like oh my god so she's like what number do you have what number do you have like you know telling us and everyone was like listening to her so i was just like okay and you know she clearly does this a lot so that's completely fine um and then we're like lining up in order but like no one from the estate sale has even like walked in yet and i always thought like i, I think it depends on like which company is putting on the estate sale but everyone that i've been to like if you have your name on a list they just call your name and then you just like walk in um so it didn't really matter we didn't really need to line up especially because there were only like 20 people um but anyways so this guy who works for the estate sale like comes out about 9 28 like getting things ready and she's like are we gonna start soon and he's like yeah yep yeah, we're uh we're almost ready we're excited to see you guys you know blah 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 i forget how else she worded it but she was like are you gonna call everyone's name like she was just like relentless and finally the guy who worked at the estate so he was like yeah ma'am i got it don't you worry i got it 
I, I got this under control and I was just sitting there like oh no and I like looked over and she was literally like shaking like she was just so like hyped up and excited so they get to the point where again we didn't need to line up they were just like okay like they were calling each person's name individually telling them to come back so I start they say Carrie Dayton I start walking back and she's like you skipped me you skipped me you didn't call my name and he was like okay like you were behind her in line anyways it was just like a whole thing so i walk into the house i had been inside the house for 10 seconds literally and then this woman comes barreling in like barreling into this house and she immediately goes to the backyard i'm assuming to like look to see what stuff is out there and i'm not kidding she walked full speed into the sliding glass door and i was just like <gasps> And then she just immediately was like, Wah! and then just opened it back up again and then disappeared in a cloud of smoke. It was unbelievable. I have never seen someone so intense before. Like maybe when I went to this, like uh, it's called Jet Rag. It's like a parking lot, $1 thrift sale that they do like kind of near like Hollywood. And it's like, everything is a dollar. So people are just like, Wah! They're, like they're going crazy for it. Um, But yeah, she was so, intense so that was very hilarious and entertaining and um i mean karma worked very fast on that one that was insane so anyway that's pretty much gonna do it for this vlog i am going to spend the rest of the day editing i feel like that's all i say i'm like today i'm filming today i'm editing but that's just my life at this point i upload four times a week between my two channels currently and then i upload like short form content i'm trying to do brand deals here and there i'm doing my best but i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me over the last couple of days it's been a pretty busy week and i think next week's gonna be pretty busy as well but i appreciate you being here thank you so much for watching and and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog for a weekend vlog. I can't wait. See you in the next one. Bye.